Today's knife is an assisted opener and it has a feature that you just don't see very often. All of the specs that you're currently looking at are measurements that I had personally taken myself. So those of you interested, good spot to pause and read. First, I'd like to go ahead and thank my friends over at ABKT who were nice enough to uh, go ahead and send this knife over for review today so I could share it with you guys. You can check out their website at it's just simply ABKT inc.com and I will include the link down below. This is the ABKT Sidewinder and it is from their Cattleman's Cutlery series. As usual, we'll get into what I like about this, then we'll talk about some of the potential deal breakers, but first, let's do them size comparisons. Let's begin this section with the uh, Kaiser Vanguard Dukes, the Kershaw Blur. Oh, here's one I don't whip out very often. The Zero Tolerance ZT 0350. How about the Cold Steel American Lawman? Oh, how about this? This is one of my all time favorite knives ever, the Viper Vox Fortis. And of course, the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, Benchmade Bug Out. And we'll finish up this section with another Benchmade, and that is of course the 943. Starting with the blade of the Sidewinder, you are looking at it's three and a quarter inches of 8CR 13 MOV. And the Sidewinder features one of my all time favorite blade finishes, and that is the combination stone wash with the satin flats. Love it. Now, this G10 handle is 4.25 inches in length and I just feel that this really is almost the perfect EDC size and it has just excellent blade to handle ratio. You're also getting multiple deployment options so you can either use the the flipper tab or the ambidextrous thumb studs both work just as well and it is very easy to close you're not like fighting against and you know the spring assist the whole way like with some others you start to feel it just at the halfway point very easy to close now once it is open you can see that that uh, it looks like that liner is locking up at about 15% and let's check the centering. I believe it's just about perfect. Oh my, it sure is. And I'm sure right about now you're wondering, okay, Jay, what the heck is that, that special feature on this knife? Well, it's very, very simple and it's a safety lock. What makes this safety lock special is that it prevents the knife from opening as opposed to other knives with a lock like the I'm going to show you here the the Hogue EX3 it has a lock but that is to lock it in the open position it does not keep it closed moving on down to the handle I just want to show you check out look it's got like that uh, that nice like sweeping curvature to it, which really does provide a very secure and just a comfortable grip. And you can see my medium sized hand fit all of my fingers on there. Absolutely no trouble at all. 
I really like this G10, the texture. It's, it's very, it's grippy, yet not too aggressive. So it will not chew up your pockets. The pocket clip is just a one position clip and that's going to be tip up only for, yep, no lefty love, just for righties. Now, before this goes on the scale, I just want to go ahead and show you that, yeah, this is completely open construction with just the two barrel spacers. And if we look on the inside, yeah, you can see one of the, one of the liners is actually skeletonized in an effort to reduce weight. Let's see how they did. They did well. They did very well, 3.2 ounces. That is gonna be roughly the equivalent. One, two, three, four AA batteries, or I wanna throw this on there. Paramilitary two. Yeah, that's lighter than the PM2. Oh, hey, if you like what I'm doing here, would you go ahead and click on that subscribe button? And if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Now we do have to talk about these potential deal breakers because sadly, there are just a few. Potential deal breaker number one is gonna be, well, the fact that it is an assisted opening knife. I know, you know, many of you are not fans of the assisted open. I myself actually like it. Next is gonna be regarding that pocket clip. Not a fan of it whatsoever. It is just, it leaves just a little too much handle sticking out for my liking. And of course, you know, there's no left-handed option, but I actually do have a fix for this clip. And I'm gonna show you. And now with a little knife beater magic, ta-da! Yes, we now have a Kershaw deep carry clip that I had harvested from a $14 Kershaw grinder. The thumb studs. I want you to go ahead and take a look at the positioning of the thumb studs and then follow all the way straight line down to the sharpened edge. Yeah, this is right in that cutting path, but they do look like with uh, a Torx number six, that it can be removed. So, uh, you know, small consolation. But yeah, the studs are a little, just a little too far forward. The sharpening choil here on the sidewinder was, if you can see, very, very yeah, poorly executed here. The MSRP of the ABKT Sidewinder is at 25 bucks, but you know the street price is always considerably less, so which would put it down to, you know, 20 bucks or less, which I think is a pretty darn good deal. And ever since I received this knife, it's been driving me nuts. I've been trying to figure out what knife, Jay, does this remind you of? And it just came to me, the Buck uh, Bantam. So if you are looking for an inexpensive knife that does feature an assisted opener and actually has a lock, a safety lock, that keeps it closed in your pocket, the Sidewinder is definitely the way to go.